Welcome to GD Saving the Past. I am GD. Thanks for stopping by today. Well, not long ago, I did a video on this album here that I received from my son and daughter-in-law for Father's Day, and I showed the things that I had added to it at this point. I don't have many things to add to this album, but um, I do have three new pieces that I'm going to be adding today. Um, I've stopped buying things because I'm now to the age where I need to get rid of things, not buy things. No, I'm not getting rid of these items. I'm just making a comment that I probably won't be buying items to fill this um, album with. So I'm going to hope that I find some more items in my circulation searches to be able to add to this album. But in the meantime, as I say, I've got three new um, notes here that I want to add to this album. And this album is going to house my better pieces. That's what the purpose of this is. And when I say that, this is housing my better pieces that are raw. I have a few that um, are, are um, graded uh, notes that are better notes, and I will show those another time. But anyway, before I get started on um, showing you what I'm going to be adding and going back over what's already here, um, I just want to make mention that um, many of you that have followed me know that I like to call out other channels from time to time, and um, I've been doing that a little bit more regularly lately. I am pretty varied in the types of things that I watch here on YouTube, um, and many of those things I don't um, do shout-outs for just because I know that my audience isn't interested in those things like antiques and uh, other things like that. Um, but the people that do follow me love good um, good uh, vintage silver videos. And, uh, you know, I have mentioned a few good people in the past on that. Um, one that comes to mind real quick is Silverstruck. He's got some great videos on that. Um, lots of coin channels I've mentioned in the past. And recently I have been doing more and more currency because this is where my heart's at right now. And I've done some um, shout outs here recently, like for Polar Currency. Great channel. You guys should check it out. And of course, Massa Basic Gold and Silver. He does uh, great Monday morning. Um, uh, Morgan, Morgan Mondays is what he calls it, where he features a Morgan dollar. And of course, he does currency as well. So uh, I'm mentioning those channels again. But the purpose of this shout out is for somebody totally new, somebody that not long ago I started watching and I've been enjoying his um, channel. And I encourage you folks to go over and check him out as well. Uh, the name of the channel is Cool. And then there's a dash, Serial. And I will leave a link for that channel down below. His name is John. Um, he does he does uh, searches and he goes over um, uh, collectible uh, fancy serial numbers, more modern type stuff like what I've got here. But um, I encourage you go over and check out uh, his playlist. I'm sure you'll find some interesting stuff in there. And when you go over there, consider subscribing to his channel and giving him a thumbs up on some of his videos and please leave them a comment over there and let them know that uh, you heard from, uh, from uh, about his channel from uh, GD Saving the Past. Anyway, let me quickly go back over again what I've got here, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to be adding today. I'm very excited about the pieces I'm going to be adding today, and I hope you guys are going to be as well when you see them. But anyway, so what we've got here, this one here is one that I bought on eBay apparently some time ago. Uh, it's a 2013 $2 bill, and this one here is a radar note. We got 1150, 1150 radar. This one here, I have no notes with it, so I am assuming that I probably found this one in circulation at some point. Uh, this one here is a 2001, and it is um, a radar also. Um, and again, I probably found that one in circulation. This one here is one that I purchased on eBay some time ago. It's a 2013. And this one here is Repeater. Uh, and here is a $2 note that um, I obviously bought on eBay. And this is a binary. Cool number with the ones and fives. This is one I found in circulation. This is a broken ladder. We got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on that. Okay, so as I say, I'm probably not going to fill this album unless, of course, I find interesting things like this 
in circulation. I would love to find a um, ascending ladder, a straight ascending ladder, and a, and a straight descending ladder to add to this to fill that page, and maybe one day I will. But for this page here, we are going to reserve it for an interesting combination of low serial number star notes. And these are ones, again, that um, I picked up on eBay some time ago. Uh, this first one here is a 1995, and I hope that's going to come in nice and closely. Um, and you can see that number there is uh, leading four zeros and two, one, four, four. The note's in excellent condition. Um, I'm kind of sad that these weren't graded, but that's okay. I'm happy with it just the way it is. It's a beautiful note in really crisp looking condition. Now this particular one here was from, I did look these up. This one here had a run size of 512,000 and a total printed of 1,289,999 uh, notes. So it's a semi uh, rare note with that number. But a beautiful note, and we've got a combination of low serial number and a star note. I would love to find something. I might even go out and buy something like that. I, I would love to find something with, um, with three numbers and something with two numbers. I know that I'm not going to spend the money on a single digit at this point in time um, because they're pretty pricey. But we are going to add this one to the album right here if I can get it in there. And there we go. That one is all set and in the album. Now, the next two I have here are a little bit interesting. I'm going to put that one over here. Uh, this one here is, as you can see, this is a 2003, I believe this one is. I uh, can't see yet. Yeah, 2003, it looks like. And uh, this one here is 00008449 star. Now, I may have looked these up wrong. No, nope, that's 2003. That's what these both are that I'm going to be showing next. And the note that I have on this is that... Um, these came from a run size of 16,000 and a total printed of 16,000. So you would think that they're extremely rare. Um, the reason why there was such a low print run and total run on these is because these were actually ones that were sold by the BEP, the Bureau of, uh, of Printing, to collectors directly. So. Um, they kept it as a small run size, and I'm pretty tickled to have that one in my collection. And I've got one more to share with you folks that came the same exact way. This one here is also a 2003, and again, leading with four zeros, 6299, and a star note. And again, this was this here came from a print size of 16,000, a total printed of 16,000. And these were, again, sold by the BEP to, directly to collectors. Um, I was not the one that bought them. I actually bought these um, from someone on eBay a number of years ago. So, um, but I'm glad to have those three and certainly looks great to have a full page done there with those. What do you guys think, huh? Those are wonderful pieces I would really love. And I don't know, I say that I'm not going to buy any more stuff. Um, I really don't want to do that to my family. I got so much that they've got to deal with already. And uh, I don't know that I'm up to the challenge of getting rid of a lot of the stuff that I have. But anyway, I would certainly love to have a three number um, low number. It doesn't have to be a star note, but I would love to have a low three number and a low two number to place into this album. But as I say, I've got lots of other notes that I'm going to be showing you folks, but I don't think that I've got anything else that may warrant this kind of uh, look in here. Now, I have a number of uh, silver certificates I have to go through and a number of red seals that I have to go through that um, I haven't looked at in a long, long time. So I don't know what's actually in those. And maybe there is more in there. 
So I'm happy to have all of these in my collection. And um, just one more thing, you get the chance and check out Cool Dash Cereal. I'm sure you'll find some content over there that you will enjoy seeing. Um, and again, please leave a message with him over there on his comment page that GD sent you over. So what do you guys think, huh? Were these three great notes that I've added to the album? I'm very happy with those. Love to hear your comments down below. Okay, and until next time, this is GD saying, have a great day. Happy hunting out there.